Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm uh, Benoit Rufo from uh, Domaine Etienne Sauzé in Puligny Mont Rocher. Uh, we produce only uh, white wine and uh, only Puligny, with only one exception, Chassagne Village, Les Enseignères. And um, uh, I can speak a few words about uh, the vintage uh, 2012 now. It's a uh, it's difficult vintage in general because um, the season, the vegetation season, is not so easy. And to to finish, we have three different times with hail. Two not are very odd, but uh, the last one and July is very big uh, problem for the top of the hill with uh, premier cru, uh, folatière, changin, truffière. When, when, was the f when was the first hailstorm? Uh, two times in uh, June. Was that the end of June? Yeah. yeah. And, uh, but not with big, uh, big problem. Mm. It's few impact, but it can be correct. I prefer yeah. without that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. of course, but it's like that. But the big, big problem is in July with, uh, with the top of the hill. It's uh, top of the hill is where, like it's. Uh, I have a map. The big area, the big problem area, it's uh, this side of Puligny. It's uh, Folatière, Changin, Garen, uh, all the top of the, mm -hmm. of the hill. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's going to be uh, eighty percent uh, down for. Wow. Yeah, it's big, big ale. Um, but in fact, after with the good weather, good condition, we have a good uh, drying mm -hmm. with good cicatrization. Uh, vegetation stopped a little bit, is a normal cycle, but after 10 days, it, it starts with a uh, with good, uh, good way. Mm -hmm. uh, we try. Uh, way to harvest this area and uh, I'm very happy with, uh, with the result because uh, we have a very good focus and terroir identity mm -hmm. with this problem. It's, it's do, do you think the terroir is more expressive in 2012 because of the smaller quantity crop? Yeah. I don't know because uh, 11 is very good to, to identi identify each terroir too, but uh, yes, in 12, I'm very happy with that. Mm. Uh, it's for me, it's very uh, big, big vintage with concentration and density, but all is concentrate for me. It's mm. aromas, it's body, it's, uh, it's not very high acidity like 10 but it's very good balance and uh, very, very big energy for me. Mm. The tents had more acidity. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Do you think, though, it will, do you think the wines will be long-lived? Yeah, uh, I think. Yeah. For me, it's a big, big uh, density, concentration and big building for, for aged. Yeah. 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 With very small crop and uh, half, half uh, quantity for total sauce. Is, is there... Um, is there one particular wine that is uh, much less than other years that was affected by the hail, especially? Sorry? <laughs> is, there, is there one uh, like a Premier Cru that uh, the hail was, uh, the quantity is yeah. very, very small? For example, uh, for La Thierre, it's only two barriques this year. And usually and how many? It's going to be ten. Oh really? Wow, yeah, 10 to 2. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, wow, wow, okay, okay. But I'm very happy with the, the result of the yeah. vintage. And how about 2013, how's that? 13, <laughs> it's, it's another vintage. Yeah. Few difficulty during uh, vegetation season, yeah. we have a lot of rain yeah. during the spring, but uh, after harvest, uh, it's late harvest, yeah. uh, but I'm so happy too. Uh, it's good juice with uh, mm. very good freshness, good mm -hmm. aromas of uh, fresh fruit. But it's perhaps uh, early to speak. Yeah, for we'll find out next yeah, year. Yeah. Next year. Okay. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.